What is up, Sud Squad? Is that Logan here to review set 75298, the ATAT versus Tauntaun Microfighter with 205 pieces, two figures, and retailing for $20. Now this obviously came out in 2021 and came out with a Series 8 of our micro fighters. First up, obviously, we'll look at the back of the box. We already looked at the front. And you will notice a little battle going on between the little at, -AT Walker pilot and Luke Skywalker, as well as a depiction of the micro fighters. And it looks like we got one canceled. I also like the little build together thing. This is a great thing to build with a friend or family member. A uh, nice, easy build. And, you know, you could build them two separately. There are two instruction manuals. And let's get into the figures. First up, we have the one wholly original figure in this wave. It is Luke Skywalker. Now, first off, he comes with a stud shooter, which if you're going to put stud shooters anywhere, I think these are the perfect sets to do it in these little micro fighter builds. I think battle packs, it doesn't work, but it certainly does here. You know the drill with those boys. They shoot. Uh, you also get in his nice lightsaber, which has, there's a clip for him. We'll get into that later. He has some nice detailing all around, and the big thing with him is his little head print, and I think they did a great job, and you could just twist his head around, and you will get this nice little uh, expression of him, you know, looking angry or whatever, and you could even take the goggles off of his helmet if you'd like, and there's a nice little area for you to clip them in, and you could have him look out like that if you really want to. I think it looks better on his head, but on the box art, it actually has him wearing those, which I find quite interesting. Next up, we have the AT. AT Walker pilot, uh, which was previously featured in the AT AT set. Now, this guy's technically considered uh, original be solely because of this headpiece, which I think is dumb. But it, it, that that's why. Uh, yeah, anyway, nothing too original here. Uh, he does come with his stud blaster, obviously. You saw that previously. He has little binoculars. He is back printing. Very nice. I don't like the way this happens, but that's just, you know, a fact of life. Same mold for TIE fighter helmets. And let's get into the builds. So here are the builds, the AT AT and Tauntet. And I just want to say before we get into reviewing them, I wish... They used this old design for the at, -AT. I remember back in the day, this was like the big thing. Everyone would make these like adorable little poses out of him, and they'd make him like this adorable thing, and everyone had a bunch of him, and he was just like, they made him like an adorable thing. I remember back in like 2014 or whenever this came out, you'd have him like stand like a puppy or whatever, and I thought this was adorable. So I wish they like did that because, you know, it's adorable at, -AT versus Tauntaun, like that's adorable. This one's more of like the regular looking at, -AT, which is still fine, but I thought this one just looked better, and you know, I, I think this would have worked better. That, that was a big complaint I had. But let's get into the builds themselves. I think we'll start off with the adorable Tauntaun with uh, Luke Skywalker, obviously. Now, this is obviously a little out of proportion, but I love the little eyes. This goes hand in hand with either your Bantha or I believe they had the little, I forgot the green guy's name, uh, the, the green from, Ka from Tatooine. But yeah, so anyway, he comes with adorable little hands, and I find that like... Oh my gosh, I like I like that a lot. Uh, he has his nice little belly with like the white pieces. I think that was done really well. I think the brick built design of him is really nice. Uh, I like the molded better. Like if you want accuracy, the molded one's a hundred billion times better. But I like the way they have his toes. I think that all looks good. There's two nice little clips. So basically, you have a clip where you put your lightsaber. You could put you know a blaster, and you could have him have his binoculars. But he has to be holding one. Uh, you know, binoculars probably makes most sense uh, because he's on Hoth, of course. And what he's going to want to do is you're going to sit him down on these stud hoppers. You can have Luke pretty easily grab on. You just have to really, like, maneuver it. So I think that's a big thing. Uh, in the back, obviously, you know, there's a little pouch, I guess, that holds supplies or whatever. Here he is with his little side-mounted gun. And I, I honestly think it would be funny if they gave him little hands. So, like, you could, you know, have a, his little blaster and shoot it out. Like, <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Well, I guess you can do that with that, like I just did. Um, but, yeah, so there's the taunts, and he comes with little horns and everything. A little tail that can waggle around. And let's get into the at, -AT. Here's the at, -AT. I'd say this one's pretty adorable, too. I do like the way they did the blasters on this one. They're secured in pretty well. I was worried, like, these would fall off. But, yeah, so you could spin these round nice and dandy i believe that's a printed piece which is super generous of lego uh well not generous but it's it's nice i mean there's a 20 dollars set of course and there's a nice little area to sit down your walker pilot and there's a little even like one of those bar pieces he also has a nice little back tail and it really captures the at, -AT. i think it does a fine job he can stand on his legs and you know do a yeehaw type thing like we've you know that, that, i think that's still pretty funny and you know you could have him like do like the bullseye you know stand or whatever or a backflip, apparently. That, that was pretty funny. And that is the build for the at, -AT. Not much more to say there, other than maybe the little control panel and little area for your walker to, pilot to sit. Now it is Stud's time to give his thoughts on the set. Now, I think it's fair to say this is a pretty uncontroversial set, which is probably why nobody is going to be watching this particular review. There's going to be very few views just to watch. Um, but it, it's certainly a nice set nonetheless. I think it, again... It's uncontroversial. I think there's nothing really bad to say about it. It's it's not like the best set ever. It's not the worst. I think the Luke figure is certainly a nice addition. I think they could have also done Han, obviously. 
Uh, I think another thing is like they could have done General Veers or an eight or a Snow Trooper pilot. You know, it, it really could have been anything. And I think the figure selection was just fine. I like the little box art actually. I think that's one of the uh, certain redeeming factors of the set. And I just like it overall. I think I'd give it a solid eight out of ten. There's nothing bad about it. I think twenty dollars is perfectly fair. Um, and, and you know, obviously, I'd rather probably pick up uh, one of the you know battle packs. But you know, this is fine. But with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed this quick review. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and get those analytics boosted so comment a little thing and i'll see you all in the next one remember to peace out and stay awesome